I am Dr. Heather Moore, owner of Total Performance Physical Therapy. Tonight we're going to talk about knee pain in children. So I have three children of my own and I know how often kids come and say, this hurts, that hurts, and I ignore them. Because let's be honest, at least once a day something hurts. And you have to kind of decipher on what is pain or what is just like a general complaint that they have that may or may not go away tomorrow. Um, so don't feel guilty or bad or, you know, if you're, you're sitting there kind of turmoil, you know, turmoil with the idea of my kid is complaining of knee pain or kind of ignored it. Um, we're going to go through what you should pay attention to and when you do kind of go, eh, you know. Um, so for knee pain in children, it really does come down to a lot of growing. But unfortunately, a lot of knee pain is just dismissed as growing pains, and it's actually something that needs to be addressed. It's not just growing pains. It is not something that um, it's going to go away as they compensate uh, or they tear something, but it's not, you can't just chalk it up to, to growing pains. Knee pain, if your child participates in any type of sport and they complain of knee pain, more than two days after they're coming off of the field, out of the pool, whatever, this is a problem, okay? So this is when we start to pay attention. So they go to practice, they come home, they're like, my knees hurt today. Yeah, okay, let's, let's pay attention to it. I wouldn't prompt them to, to um, you know, I wouldn't ask the question the next day, and be like, hey, how are your knees feeling? Because that can trigger some um, symptoms that may or may not be there. Their knees may be sore just from running. And, you know, especially the younger your child is, it's really hard to differentiate, is this soreness from running? Is this soreness from a hard practice? Or is this truly something to pay attention to? But if your child, again, gets in the car and is like, oh, my knees, they really hurt. You need to pay attention to that. Two days in a row is not something that's like, oh, you just had a killer practice today. When you ignore it beyond that, you can set them up for an ACL tear. You can set them up for ligament tears, um, meniscus tears. So it's really something that is important to pay attention to because they are developing. And if their muscles are not developing correctly and they're compensating, um, you want to be aware of the fact that it can lead to some very serious problems. Uh, a lot of times a knee pain complaint precedes a... Uh, an, an ACL tear, especially in that female population, that younger female population. So really be careful of that type of uh, warning sign. When they've come into that car two, three days in a row and they're like, my knees really hurt, you need to address it. And unfortunately, it's not going to be something that you're going to be able to do at home. Now, it is something that is going to be quick and easy because they're young and they're gumby. And usually, once we get find out the reason, for the pain, it's usually very quickly resolved. So it's not like you're gonna be spending months and months and months in therapy. However, it is something that does require a treatment. And you've gotta figure out why it's hurting. Is the, are the heel cords, like the Achilles heel, could that be too tight? That could be causing the knee pain. Is there hamstring issues? Are the hamstrings too tight? That could be causing knee pain. Is there jumper's knee? Is the, is the tendon in the front of the leg becoming inflamed. That could be causing knee pain. There's a lot of things that, be that could be causing that knee pain complaint. It's really hard in children to be able to have them decipher exactly where the pain is coming from and really describe it to you. So that's why I say, you know, in, in adults, I can kind of give a couple of keywords or things that you can look at in order to be able to diagnose yourself a little bit. But in children, it's usually like it just hurts or it hurts all over the place. So it's really important that once you make that connection that there's something going on here that you get them in so it can be looked at. One of the things that you can look at at home, especially to see if there's truly a lot of knee dysfunction going on and if that pain uh, or if that complaint of pain is a lot is really valid is just have them do a single leg squat so if you have them just sit stand there and start to bend the knee what you're going to see is the further they go down the more it's going to wobble all right this is knee instability okay so this especially if your sport is running or you're a breaststroker for swimming and you can't do a single leg squat where your knee just tracks straight ahead and doesn't move 
and you're complaining of knee pain, that's an indication of a problem. Now, it could be hip weakness, it could be abdominal weakness, it could be tightness. It, it's really hard to say just from watching that exercise, but it's something that as a parent, you should clue in on like this. Another quick test to say, you know, what's going on? Is there something maybe a little bit more to this knee complaint pain? Watch your child jump. Watch your child bend down and jump. In a normal jump, your knees are going to track forward. When you are someone who is suffering with knee pain or you have a complaint of knee pain, your knees are going to go like this. Now, granted, that's a really a gross exaggeration. The minute you see the knees start to collapse in, that knee complaint, pain, that knee complaint is valid. That pain of have that complaint of having pain in the knee is valid. There's something going on here. Those are two just quick things that you can look at to say there's something going on. What? Again, really have to get into the nitty gritty to figure out what it is. But if you see those two things and you're like, ah, borderline, should I bring them in? Should I not bring them in? Definitely bring them in. Definitely bring them in if you hear it more than two nights in a row. Definitely bring them in if you see that. That is really, really setting them up for some serious injury if that isn't addressed. What you want to do is if your child comes in and you realize that, okay, this is something that we need to work on, this is something we need to address, you do not want to have them stretch, okay? I, I get a lot of, unfortunately, kids who um, come in here a little bit later than they should have uh, because, oh, they just stretched their knee. They just stretched out, and that's going to help them. A lot of times it's a balance of stretching and a balance of strengthening. You've got to find the muscles that may need stretch, but a lot of times it's more weakness. And most parents come in and they say, well, my kid runs, you know, 100 miles a week. They take 57 games. They're not weak. A lot of times it is. A lot of times it's hip weakness. A lot of times it's core weakness. A lot of times it could be coming from the foot and how the foot develops. So it's really important to understand that even though there is knee pain, it may not be necessarily at the knee. It could be coming from the hip. It could be coming from the ankle. So keeping... Um, getting them in here as soon as possible, but not necessarily just saying, go up there, go and do a hamstring stretch. That's like the classic, you have knee pain, just go stretch. Go do a quad stretch. Go do a runner stretch. Go do a hamstring stretch. I see that a lot coming in here with kids who have knee pain and they're like, oh, well, I just was told to stretch. That's completely wrong. Okay. One, it's not going pain. It's two, stretching is not going to help it. All right, so you've got to figure out all the muscles that are involved, where they're involved. Is it the hip? Is it the knee? Is it the ankle? And then go from there in making the best decision forward. If you see some of those positive signs, you need to bring them in. It is not something to wait on. It's that, this is not going to get better. This wobbling is not going to get better until those specific muscles are trained. If you do have a child that's suffering with knee pain and you want to bring them in for a free consultation, all you have to do is call our office at 215 997-9898 and we'll be sure to get you in.